Hello everyone, this is Andy, and today I will tell you about all the simple steps to turn on the microphone in Google Meet. Let's dive in. To ensure your voice is heard in Google Meet, it's essential to set up the microphone correctly. To do this, first make sure that your microphone is working. Double check that the microphone is connected to the correct port on your device. If your device is equipped with a built-in microphone, make sure it is not turned off. If you encounter any difficulties here, check for hardware issues or driver problems that may be causing malfunctions. Also, check if other applications on your computer are using the microphone. You may have a voice recorder or another video call application running. Close them, and then only Google Meet will be able to use your microphone. The next step is to allow Google Meet access to your microphone. This is a simple but important step to ensure smooth communication during meetings. Usually, when you first use Google Meet or join a meeting, your browser will ask you to grant access to the camera and microphone. This is necessary to ensure the microphone works properly during the meeting. Once you click Allow, you can select Allow every time, so that you won't have any questions each time a meeting starts. If you want to double check the access settings on a specific site, you need to click this button. And here you will be able to see whether access to the camera and microphone has been granted, and change them if necessary. Now. It is important to check the microphone right before the meeting. To do this, we go to the website meetgoogle.com and paste the link or code to join the meeting in this window. After that, we click the join button. Before officially joining the meeting, you will be placed in a green room where you will have the opportunity to check the functionality of the microphone and other settings. In this room, you will be able to see your image as well as the icons for the speaker and microphone. Click on the microphone icon to ensure that the audio tab is functioning properly. If you have multiple microphones, such as a headset or webcam, click the button next to the microphone. Here you will be able to select the microphone you want to use. Also, speak into the microphone. And if everything is working properly, you will see the indicator moving to the right or left. This test confirms that the microphone in Google Meet will work correctly. Once you have everything set up, click the Join button. During the meeting, you can also turn your microphone on or off by clicking on this icon. If the microphone is crossed out with a red line, it means that other participants cannot hear you. To continue the conversation, you need to press this button again. If everything is working correctly, you will also see an indication around your icon that the microphone is active. You can also quickly mute the microphone on Windows by pressing the Ctrl and D key combination. This will allow you to quickly switch between modes. If you have ever experienced difficulties while taking notes during your meetings, I suggest you pay attention to Blue Dot. This is a free extension for Chrome that operates based on artificial intelligence, and most importantly, without the need for third-party bots. All you need to do to use it is to install the free extension, and after installation, click on the extension icon. After that, click the Start Capture button, and in just a moment, Blue Dot will begin analyzing your recording in the background. And all you need to do to get the result of your meeting is to leave it, and Blue Dot will promptly open the link to the recording of your meeting, which you can review. And here's what a recording of a real meeting looks like using Blue Dot. On the right, you can see that Blue Dot fully transcribes your video, and it also identifies the speakers. You can also notice that on the left side, you get an AI summary of your meeting with key points, which you can click on to quickly jump to and review the relevant segment. This way, you no longer need to take notes manually. I hope this video was helpful to you. Goodbye, everyone.